Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. Enjoy your night, Ingo. And today we have landed right here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yummy. Known as the chocolate town of America. Yummy. So much the fact that if you look. Kisses. Yeah, even those lampposts are Hershey Kisses. We're here to learn some stuff. We ate a lot of chocolate this trip. We're here for a few days. So we're gonna put the brakes down onto eating the chocolate and a little learn bit. About a little bit. We're gonna learn about the chocolate. chocolate. And not only just the chocolate, about the man himself. Oh, the man Hershey. So that's why we have come to the Hershey Story. The Hershey Story, the museum of Chocolate Avenue. Right here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. So we're gonna go inside, check it out. Yes, we are. Step right up. Let's go for this ride. Dun, dun, dun. The Hershey Story, the museum of Chocolate Avenue. Explore, shop, create, taste. Checking out the Explore, the scope. Showing some all things. This used to be my favorite ride. It's like a double oh. Ferris wheel. And you'd load up and then you'd go up. Oh, that was a good ride, Joy, back in Hershey Park. Sadly, they got rid of it. Mm -hmm. We're here just talking. We're just going to go upstairs and check it out. The museum experience. <laughs> Failures to fortune. <laughs> I realize that, Joy. A lot of good businesses go bankrupt before they uh, make it. Like this, Joy. Looking at the uh, oh. cacao bean pie. Oh, that's pretty cool. Seeing those beans. They are roasting them. We have an old candy display box from 1881. Designed by Milton and Henry Hershey. Ooh, chocolate, chocolate mouth. It says uh, Lancaster on it. What does it say? Um, Hershey's sterili sterilized Hershey. milk chocolate and we help you folks? for eating yeah. and drinking in Lancaster. And that's a bigger. Uh huh. We're going to Hershey's Chocolate Company. Heading on in. Oh, uh, milk condensing department. Hershey's sweet milk. Oh, look at the other molds now. The other molds were cool, they're all too. Breakfast cocoa tin. That's a lot of chocolate for breakfast. <laughs> so here from 07 to 21, it was each hand wrapped. Wartime rationing halted Kiss production from 42 until 1949 because aluminum foil for wrappers was unavailable. This is the biggest chocolate factory. Oh, on the, the, the conch machines. It all comes down to do it. Yes. Right. We learned about this on the ride. It makes it all nice and smooth. Uh huh. <laughs> machine is going. Showing us how we're making that chocolate. Giant granite rollers. Mixing everything in and making it nice and smooth. We're learning how Hershey used recycled byproducts from his chocolate to make soap, cocoa butter, and mulch from cocoa seeds. Press here to see inside. It looks like we have a chocolate factory plant. Hershey's Estate Dairy Farm, Hershey State. Extensive network of dairy produced milks from chocolate. Well, so milk and dairy goods from 1929 till 1971. Butter. Hershey's special cream, sweet cream butter. Butter. Oh, we have some more products from the Hershey State Dairy Farms. Hershey's soaked granules made with real cocoa. Well, they had this open, like, in, in our Hershey Hotel in the Lodge. Yes, our soap is made with cocoa butter. It smells like chocolate. Oh, my God. It's crazy showing how, like, he advertised himself by branding with the tins, stuff he didn't need. The first mass media campaign didn't happen until 1970 because his natural instincts for advertising and promotion. E.T. E. loved his Reese's Pieces. They were E.T.'s favorite candy. E.T. phone home. Power promotion showing how a storefront window would be to advertise back in the day. I do like these old little storefronts. Like, here's the old uh, five and dime or, or general store. Let's try Hershey's milk chocolate. Of course you're going to want to try it. I would, yeah. 
I wish we still had stores that look like this, Joy. Coconuts, we learned those are very, very bitter. bitter. They're good if you mix them with your coffee, though. And then cocoa beans, cocoa mm -hmm. butter, and then chocolate liqueur. Ooh, chocolate liqueur, ooh la la. Here we have another store, front windows play from 1921 to 24. Advertising their farm and their dairy products. I want one of these for my coin op collection, Joy. I want one of these. That uh -huh. is really cool. I want to have Hershey's Tropical Chocolate. This is actually some cool stuff in this case. I really like these Easter Bunny molds. Oh, that's awesome. From 1930 and 62. But oh. this is awesome. From 56 or 60. So you'd get your Hershey's with 24 bars and the package, that's your trick-or-treat mask. Cut out the eyes, attach a string. I like this souvenir pillowcase for the old Hershey Park before it was filled with amusement park rides. Look at that. Hershey Park, it has the pool, the canoeing and boating, the sports arena. We're gonna see some, oh, okay. a timeline of Hershey so. products. On the top we have Hershey's histories in those times on the bottom we have what was happening in the world in U.S. history. What do we got here? Let's look for some interesting stuff. Ooh, 1908. Milk chocolate with almonds, I like this. We have some chewing gum, 1915. Was this continued 1924? Going into World War I. Oh, the crackle came in 38. Ooh, crackle came in 38, same. It initially includes crisp rice and almonds. In 39, almonds are replaced by peanuts. Ah, in 1940, all nuts are eliminated. Yo, yeah, you know, I know. That's nuts. That is nuts. Put it in tin. <laughs> in 39, we have the Hershey's Miniatures. Same year as Gone in the Wind and Wizard of Oz. Uh, Hershey's acquires the Reese Company, 1963. Butter chip. What do we have around that? Ah, uh, the I Have a Dream. My favorite. 78. Rolos, Reese's Pieces, and what you call so I love me some Reese's Pieces and Rolos. Nothing happened then. 94, we have Reese's Nutrageous. People went so outrageous that there was another Woodstock. <laughs> That's how crazy they went. Mm -hmm. oh, Hershey's coming to release this. Reese's Minis. Same time as Occupy Wall Street. And that's it, 2012. Monogram Tiffany Sterling Silver Toiletry Set. Do so you see what that canceled check is for, Joy? That's for the White Star Luxury Line. That was a ticket for the Titanic. Oh, oh yeah. Milton Hershey paid a deposit Star. to pass El Faith with an urgent business matters that require his attention, forced him to book an earlier voyage. <laughs> you can't have milk chocolate without some milk maids. Here we have some of the little uh, milking stool and milk can. <laughs> the sweeter life. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Ice Capades pins. Meeting at the Hotel Hershey in 1940. What? Here's a hockey puck from the Hershey Bears in 737. Ooh, Hershey Park souvenirs, I like it. I like the salt and pepper shaker. Cutest baby trophy. Pelican from her shoe. We even have taxidermy in this museum. There's the pelican from the Hershey Zoo. We have a fur coat here. And it actually was a Hershey's fur coat. Hat box and fur coat sold at Hershey's department stores. A club from the Hershey's Chalk Corporation strike. Wow. Union booklet. Yeah. In the 70s. It's probably when they started unionizing in the 70s, yeah. We're learning about some Reese's peanut butter cups by H.B. Reese. And interesting thing, the paint brush was actually used to smooth the chocolate on top of the Reese's peanut butter cups back in the day. Yep. The women painting the tops of those things, smoothing out the chocolate. This is cute. A thank you letter from a little kid in 2005 because he had such a great tour. I really liked how you showed us how to work the kiss line. And his little drawing he made of them watching the kiss line go. And then you go right from that to taxiderm butterfly specimens. Butterfly House at Hershey Garden has remained a popular attraction since it opened in 1998. It was amazing. Yeah. You could go see all these butterflies. 
alive. College of Medicine. Yeah, Penn State College of Medicine. Penn State's Milton S. Hershey Medical Center. First ever fully artificial heart. Like from? This is pretty much like what we've been looking at is like everything that Milton S. Hershey basically like went into his pockets, his own personal pockets and gave to like to help fund for like everything. Yeah, the medicals, the hospitals, a lot of the schools and sports stuff. Look at the cute little mascot, Cubby, from Penn, from Penn State. State Children's Hospital. It was a man named Samuel Hinkle, president of the Chalk Hershey Chocolate Corporation, 1963, had new street lights in the shape of iconic Hershey Kisses installed along Chocolate Avenue. The 55 wrapped and 52 unwrapped kisses were affectionately known as Hinkle's Twinkles. We were looking at those outside. There was a spot here named the Chocolate Lab where they have the fun activities and making chocolates. But we're not going to do that right now. We're going to go do tastings. A flight of chocolate from around the world. You excited, Joy? I really am. So we're going to do chocolates from around the world. A tasting of drinking cocos going by different countries here. What I like is you see them, the hot drinking cocos being still there just spinning. It's very important. We learned that when we took our Palatier course. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woody flavors as well as wine and black olive notes, Venezuela. That's interesting. Java. Caramel with hints of green tea. Ooh, caramel with green tea. Oh, wow. It was because the, the plants or the trees that were near the cacaos that it could Yeah, like, if there's banana trees near the cacao, you get sort of, it changes all to the flavor of the yeah. cacao. So it's interesting of like where they're like growing. Yeah. Like what flavor they're gonna have. Yeah. All right, so we're about to do the tastings. We got okay. our flight of six. Each cup is color coded with a different globe relating to the country of origin. And we're supposed to drink from the most darkest, which starts in Tanzania, which is 75% cacao, all the way down to Hershey, which is the 33% cacao. That's pretty cool. We're starting with Tanzania. Fruitiness and a pleasant floral notes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's interesting because it's, it's, it's not like hot chocolate. It is thick. It is sipping chocolate. <laughs> well, stop smelling it and drink it. I was. I took a sip. Ooh, there was a fruity. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say interesting, I would say chocolatey, but... No, 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 like, I'm so used to, like... It be more creamy, the milk chocolates, yes. To have that right, flavor right. is different. We're up to Venezuela. I'm intrigued with this one. Okay, Venezuela. These beans display intense woody flavors as well as wine and black olive notes. I love me some black olives. <laughs> I got the woody, I don't get the wine or the black olives yet. But you definitely taste no, the woody. I got wine. I did taste the, it's a little. Okay, I, I yeah. see what you mean. I mean, it doesn't taste like wine, but it tastes like that, the, the sharpness of wine, let's say. I would have liked to taste some black olives. I love black olives. I don't taste the olives also. We're up to Mexico, I'm excited for this one. Fruity notes of nuts and ginger. Does it taste good? Can, you, can we taste the ginger? You have to tell me, Joy. You have to tell me what you nuts taste. Nuts and fruit first. Nuts and fruits? Yeah. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. Nuts nuts. All right, so Mexico sipping chocolate. Crave of ancient Mayan and Aztec civilizations. Oh, yeah. I don't taste the ginger, really. It's the first taste I taste is ginger. Oh, no, I taste <laughs> the nutty. <laughs> now we have Ghana. Ah, which is where the majority of the world's cocoa beans are currently grown in West Africa, including Ghana. This particular sample is made with milk chocolate and displays a sweet chestnut flavor. 
Oh, that is really nice. It's, it goes down like so smooth, just like. It's the milk chocolate aspect. <laughs> it is. Ooh. It's nice. It yeah. really is nice. A lot of the other ones were a lot thicker. This is the first one that's yeah, a lot more center. creamy. And there it is. Java. Java from the Indonesian island of Java. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's so caramelly. Mm hmm Drinking Java, listening to Jewel. <laughs> it's chocolate caramel. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I get the uh, caramel like says I don't get the hints of green tea, but last one. Sweet, buttery, and complex. Hershey's milk chocolate. Go on. It's so good. So buttery. It's so buttery. This is a body built by Hershey, so let's add a little more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying this just because we're in Hershey, but Hershey I feel is my favorite. <laughs> Followed by Mexico. So which is your favorite? Um, my favorite is Hershey followed by Mexico, so. I do like Hershey. I like the Java one. You like the Java one too? Yeah. Mexico is really good. And out of like the, the darker, darker ones, mm -hmm. I would have to say um, Venezuela. So we've done the upstairs and music experience. We've done the tastings. Now what we have left is the special exhibit, which is Mr. Hershey's Cuba, a sweet venture in sugar, 1916 to 46. So we get to look around. He built a town in Cuba. Where are you off to? I'm riding this train to go see Central Hershey. It's in Cuba. <laughs> it's gonna be a long trip. I hope I can spot that long. <laughs> we have the sugar cane being pulled by ox. We actually have an ox yoke above us. That was pretty cool. I wish I had a Hershey machete. That's insane. I like the sugar oh, okay. cane train mile of Hershey's Hershey's Cuban train. That is cool. Railroad regulation handbook. Uh -huh. says, Do you grow faster than sugar cane? Sugar cane grows 12 inches or a foot each month. No, I do not grow faster than <laughs> sugar cane. Kids age 1 to 12 grow about 2 inches each year. I like this. How is sugar made? Oh, how it starts and stuff like that. So it starts yeah. with sugar cane. Yeah, and then it goes, cut it shreds, to the milling. Bar, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Hmm? Which is this? Okay. Oh, so we were following it. Since Sugar cane, cane to baguette. Guess, cane juice. It goes to cane juice. Uh, they mix that with some lime water. Yeah. Then you heat it and it becomes a byproduct of mud. There it is, mud. Then you. Mud is taken to use as that, but then yeah. you filter it. Filtering out the mud. And then it goes there, the mas masaqui? Yeah, which is a mixture of sugar crystals and syrup. Okay. And then from there, yeah. it goes. Mesquite, and it is spin with off water, 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 and you get some molasses. molasses. And then the molasses goes one way, and then the raw sugar. There it is, raw sugar. We might not have said that exactly right. We're heating it up. Centrifuge machine. See, there they are, mixing it together. Imagine having a cool security guard badge from Central Hershey, Cuba. That's cool. Mm -hmm. We have a cool little hands-on interactive showing filtering that sugar cane using uh, the juice, the cane juice was forced through cloth filters to get out impurity, so these beads Represent those impurities. Let's get rid of some. Let's get rid of them. See, we, we filtered out all those impurities. Let's take a closer look. That's a sugar cane. Let's look at dried sugar cane cross section. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Turbinado sugar. 
Ooh, turbinado sugar. Let's look at it. It's the least processed of the sugars. So that's like sugar in the raw. Brown sugar. Yep, definitely is brown sugar. <laughs> and the last one? No. The last one, confectionery sugar. Let's look at it. I think it's actually cocaine. <laughs> Be careful, Joy. No, it's just confectionery sugar. Sugar, ba da ba 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 ba. <laughs> you were my candy girl. Four pound sugar corn. I wish I could have that in my collection of food stuff. Those would be cool things. Five pound sugar bag. I like this peanut oil bottle. Yeah, that is really cute. Here we have one of the cigars that Mr. Hershey would smoke. And it says that since smoking wasn't allowed in the factory, he would wedge his cigars in the factory fence before entering the mill. And he paid Cuban boys did him a favor and puffed on his cigars to keep them lit for him. <laughs> I don't know, is we're building comfortable houses for people in Cuba, but I, I think it's Jenga. <laughs> this red brick needs to go, I think. Goes this gonna come? Yeah, it's not so comfortable anymore. I lose, Joy. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. We did the Hershey story, we saw the museum. It was quite sweet, I might say. Ooh. Yeah, I like it. Oh, wow. So what I did there, right, Joy? I, I you definitely played on the words. I played on the words. Because we're in Chocolate Museum, sweet, get it? Milk chocolate, chocolate. sweet, yeah. Mm -hmm. If I have to explain that, there's something wrong. <laughs> but I like to explain my jokes. It's like a joke on a joke when I go back and I explain my jokes. Do you get it? It's about Dawn. <laughs> I killed it like two jokes ago when I was explaining how I like you to explain. You killed it even more now. <laughs> that was it. Um, it was a cute little museum. So some interesting things. I wasn't expecting to see a taxiderm pelican, pelican but uh, I saw a taxiderm pelican while looking at chocolate and then sipping chocolates from around the world. So mm -hmm. yeah, I enjoyed it. Nice. It was a good museum. It was. Yeah. Come here. It's Come a cute here. tiny museum. Yeah. So uh, the Hershey story. Been there, done that. Down. Remember folks, safe travels, good, good eats, good and good live life. life. Uh, this red brick needs to go, I think. This is fantastic.